the White House is denying that President Donald Trump or Vice President Mike Pence were in the vicinity of a confirmed case of coronavirus at the country's largest conservative political forum held here in Washington, D.C. in February. This comes as Washington, D.C.'s mayor said that they had found the city's first presumptive case of coronavirus. Now, as the number of confirmed cases of coronavirus rise in New York, a state of emergency has been declared there. We are testing aggressively, especially along suspected populations by following the infection tree because we want to identify people, because we want to put them in a position where they're not going to infect anybody else. We want to find positives. The move will free up millions of dollars to expand testing and purchase protective gear. This is after the number of cases in the state jumped to 76 from just 44 Friday, including reportedly a driver for Uber. Now, many of the other cases appear related to a 50-year-old lawyer. Now, Amtrak, the rail service, will suspend its express train that runs between New York and the cap to Washington, D.C. until at least May in response to lower demand they cite due to virus fears. New York joins California, Utah, Washington State and Maryland in declaring a state of emergency. Now, this is a sign of the growing anxiety over the coronavirus here in the U.S. As worries mount, it's also starting to reshape daily life in the U.S. The city of Austin, Texas, has cancelled South by Southwest, one of the world's most important arts and technology festivals. The first time it's been cancelled in 34 years. Colleges in Washington State and California have announced they will move classes online as the virus becomes more widespread.